our day two in, well, started in Luxor, <laughs> but we have continued to the Dendera temples. So it's actually about a two hour drive from the east bank of Luxor here to Dendera. We got super lucky. Uh, our house host set up all of our tours for us so we read reviews it was good so i had a list of things i wanted to do which i think i mentioned before but then i kind of let him deal with it but he's using all of his family members and his friends that do this professionally and so our service has been above and beyond but every single person so our driver taha yesterday our driver they have great relationships with everybody that we've worked with so we went on a hot air balloon ride this morning and, and the driver's like oh everybody's Omar? like oh omar's friends so we the whole tour is Omar's friends, come here. Omar's friends, come here. So it's just like top-notch service above and beyond. So we're here inside the Dendera Temple. Um, it cost us 600 pounds for the five of us to get in. Including a we are here. here at 9 a.m. and there's almost no one here. So I'm pretty excited amazing. about that. The weather's, weather's amazing. Perfect. It's going to get hot later, but this is freaking gorgeous. <laughs> so um, we've got a little bit of like the archaeological ruins behind us. And even from here, oh, my heart just like skipped a beat as we turned the corner. I'll give you a little sneaky peeky. We're a ways away. Look, it's so amazing. So this is one of the most well-preserved temples in the ancient Egyptian world. So pretty excited about it. The birds are chirping. The sun is out. We're having a beautiful day. So come along with us and we'll have, show you a little bit around. And again, um doing all of these tours with a driver but no tour guide um, so that if that's what fits your budget better you can still do Egypt you can still enjoy you can still support the economy here and also make it fit for your budget as well it's, so at? our drive from Luxor was about two and a half hours we loved our driver he took a little bit of a risk we went a back route <laughs> But you're, we were starting on the West Bank. It's not a tourist road, so the, the uh, traffic control does not encourage it, which is good. They track where the tourists are, so you have to actually get permission to drive from one city to another. So we have to turn our passports in, like pictures of them, to our drivers, and they stop at police checkpoints and let them know. That way they can track where um, we people... are if we go missing. Yeah, not that we're worried about that, but it is it is super nice that they're t they're looking out for. Um, tourists, we have learned there's quite a bit of rules for people who even leave their own villages is, is difficult sometimes if they don't have a reason to. Um, and so the checkpoints, they're finding out and making sure that you're moving from place to place for a reason like transporting goods, stuff like that. So it's been really interesting, something we didn't know about Egypt. Now, we're here to the ruins. This is really cool. You can start seeing some of the inscriptions. I'm loving all of the um, the carvings and the symbolism of all of the carvings are pretty amazing. Something to know when you come to this is the first temple we've been to that won't accept a visa. And so you had to have cash. Well, the sign says they do. It says so... they do. The guy pointed to it and like said no. So I don't know if it's not working today or or if they just want to... the problem with cash is they also really don't give you change ever. So that's kind of annoying. So knowing the cost of things beforehand and then making sure you have the right change, having smaller bills is helpful. So when you pay the extra, you know, ten pounds here or there for we paid an extra ten pounds to go up on the panoramic of the roof. And so you have or excuse me, an extra fifty pounds, but it's nice when you have those bills so you can do exact change and then it's like no questions. Jumping right into our carvings here, you can see right away depictions of well this temple was for um, the goddess Hathor, who is uh, motherhood and femininity. So there's, you know, depictions of that with her nursing babies. And uh, it's very calm and peaceful here, which I'm loving. And the inscriptions are, are beautiful. So right now we're over in the area where the priests used to prepare for their day. But one of the cool things about here is you'll see not just the ancient Egyptian um, influence, but also the, the Greco-Roman. So when Rome... Um, took over Egypt. They didn't destroy things like this, but they actually finished the projects that had been started, which I think is pretty cool. Here, out of the weather, 
you can see the gorgeous work along the wall. So this is probably the graffiti. There's, there's <laughs> Who's that one? She has an acorn on her head. Which one is that? Nuts. <laughs> nuts, the goddess nut. I love the lion. Oh, the details here are just stunning and we just got started. It's like crazy. What do you think of this little hallway, Ren? scared Roxy because I was on the other side of that. Floor. You guys love scaring each other here. Huh? <laughs> I don't even know where the littles got off to. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> Birds really add to the overall vibe here. The ceilings in Egypt have become some of my favorites. Here's where you can see that Romanesque vibe going on, but then with the Egyptian gods. Looks like the same scene in everyone. Oh no, the offering is different in each one. Interesting. Probably getting repetitive at this point, but I'm still crazy about the color. So up here you can see greens and reds and blues um, that are still intact from when this was completely painted. So it's crazy to think that a whole wall like this would have been in just really vibrant colors. What are you guys thinking of this area? Yeah? Okay, so we went to the temple for Ra, who is, who is for the boys, and this one is for the girls. Which one do you think is cooler? <laughs> no surprise. We just walked into the actual tumble itself. This is incredible. I've never, you don't see this on people's seen on the trip of Egypt, but especially in these colors. The blue here. I'm going to stop talking. I'll just show you. Clearly, he and I agree. <laughs> Look at the blue. The first thing he says as he walks in. So I think I've maybe only seen two different videos on Instagram of coming to the temple. And to help portray like how colorful it is, they've got a little bit of filtering on them. We don't filter the colors on our video because we like to represent a very real view. So when you come, you get what you expected um, but to that same end it doesn't totally do it justice as as it would in person um, but it is it is beautiful you can see even on the wall the blues and greens for, even from this far away that just look fantastic and then the ceiling is in ridiculous amounts of color and it's so oh, there's my hand it's so beautiful to see you've got the boats for the afterlife you've got the inscriptions here, um, the ceiling has really blown me away, and truthfully, I'm I'm in awe of the fact that they were able to get all of like. I wish I knew how they built all of this, but these artisans spent a ridiculous amount of time working up there. As we move further back into the temple, it looks almost as if it has fire damage or some of the black. This definitely looks like smoke or fire. There are all these side rooms that would have been used um, while this was an active temple for offerings and preparations. So we'll go explore those a little bit. One of the interesting things is that this temple has some of the only remaining um, depictions of Cleopatra. Now there's, a, there's people who say that she maybe never existed, there's others that say that they just hit her tomb really well. One of the conspiracies we heard is that she's actually buried, her tomb is somewhere here in Hathor's um, cult, and that they know she's here but they don't want to disturb it, and 
So interesting, interesting to think about. But um, fun tidbit. Fun little tidbit. Totally, nothing to back it up. This is just hearsay. But a fun thought. And we've chosen to do this without a guide, but you could definitely see how it would be beneficial if you had one that could read, interpret some of the symbols for you. Uh, typically, we'll take pictures and I'll go look them up when we get finished and, and watch videos about that. Um, but I think this is one of the few places it might have been interesting to have. I found the stairway. Oh, can we go down it? Uh, go up it? Yeah, we need to get the kids and go there. This is my like, note we're good. We can explore how we want. This hallway has some incredible amount of blues and reds in the hair. Showing the offerings. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. But then there's this fun little staircase. Ta-da! So we're gonna go take the stairs up. Whoa. They are definitely they used old. They used to be stairs. It's quickly turning into a ramp. So watch your step. Candy, candy, <laughs> That's true, right? It would be much easier. <laughs> You do have these beautiful little windows. These actually remind me of some of the castle windows we've seen other places. Really love. Um, this is really awesome. Oh, it just keeps going. Oh my goodness. This might be how we get to the roof, actually. That's what I would think. Slipping. Yeah. Don't do that. You can see in the walls as we go. Just every single inch of this place is planned out with inscriptions. Let me off, all off. Oh. <laughs> Much better. There we go. Freaking kids. No, oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> We're gonna have to watch that one on replay. <laughs> Maybe do a little, a little I get in the corner, like, It's right been a long here. time since he's got a good scare. This, now, like, you can tell as you walk up further and further, they've been touched. Less, they're less worn down on the walls because this is in pristine shape. Whoa, look at this um, guy. It doesn't seem like these walls were ever painted, oh, man, this but he I'm loving like, it. He has like layers of. Oh, uh, I would say you got me. So we work our way up. It looks like this might have been a room for mummification, or at least some sort of death ritual as everything on the walls is depicting it, um, which is just really cool. So here you can see the table with the dead, um, the priests, the god. So we've gotten to this first section up the stairs. Um, it does, on the one side, it looks like the mummification room. You can see like the railings. That's where you can get the extra ticket to go up. So we'll do that in a little bit. But up here, oh wow. Look at these pillars. Hello birdies. This first section, this whole ceiling has been covered. It looks like maybe the circle of life. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So we did pay the extra to go on the roof. So this nice gentleman is unlocking it for us. It doesn't look like they have many people. Great structure to walk all the way up. So we're going to go check that out. They're just shutting the gate behind us because he's also helping people to not hit their head. But um, I'm going to show you the, the original staircase here to the, <laughs> to the view. Now it does look like up here... There are several places where maybe um, they had like a wooden structure um, and you can see where it would have gone into the foundations here to hold it up. It's how we've seen other places, but... Did you show to you how they have skylights cut in everywhere? It's very bright. Yes. So um, these are just skylights. They're covered now, but originally they just would have been, you know, holes to let in the light. Make sure that you can see everything. There's a beautiful view of the surrounding area. But 
I'm loving the original stairs. Obviously missing some of them now. The fact that even this many still exist is pretty amazing. Um, the the uh, movement to the afterlife here, pretty great. So I'm gonna go walk up the stairs, but in my dress I'm gonna stop and hold my dress <laughs> instead of filming on our way up. And we'll catch up to you when we get up there. Now we're getting to the time of day that it would have been quite crazy at some of the other sites closer to Luxor, people on cruise ships. Right now, it is still very quiet here and absolutely stunning. This uh, temple yard is huge and you can see there's a lot of work that's been done to uncover the original wall structure. But a lot of this is exactly that, it's the original. So a lot of places we've been here in Egypt, you can see where they've rebuilt to give you a really good idea and um, help you picture better what it looked like at when it was completely finished. Here, they haven't done any of that yet. It's still in its original condition or what's left of the original condition anyway. And that makes it really something special. Ren's been looking at the graffiti from the 1800s that's been carved in, which is just too bad at any point in history that that, that, that happened, but it's it's good to teach you now, like we don't do that, right? But the view of the temple courtyard from up here is, is fantastic. The view of the walls does make you wonder what all this rubble area would have looked like before these walls fell. But it does definitely have that, that Romanesque touch. Now this roof area is quite large. It's really it's wild. It looks like they're just now like it looks like the They're just clearing that 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 space there at the palm trees is stunning where they've cleared out. You can see the staircases down here. This is one of the things that we've loved about being here, we loved about being in Italy, is because there's ongoing work, what we see here today, if we came back in 20 years, may be a totally different scene. Looks like... So without a tour guide and really just enjoying ourselves here, um, our driver gave us an hour and a half. We only have about 10 minutes of that left. So um, I just keep getting stopped and, and just I'm in a stupor about this place. It definitely gives off an energy as well, which is something we've noticed in a few different spots in Egypt, um, in the temples. So it has a very, very feminine energy. And if that's something you believe in, it might be something you really enjoy feeling here. There definitely is a quiet energy here. And not just because of the lack of people, but even just when you see it from the parking lot, not knowing how many people are in here, same feeling. As we leave the roof area, this is really cool. Totally a different experience than our staircase coming up. Um, you can see a little bit here, the black and white. Absolutely beautiful. But I'll show you the other way around. It is quite the tunnel. It has been so fun to um, have experiences like this in different parts of the world. Uh, if you haven't seen our Romania video yet, in Brand's Castle we went through a staircase. <laughs> it was quite narrow and similar, but nothing like this. Just stunning work. Even down to the textures of the hair, the necklaces. To try and imagine what this would have looked like, all brand new carved, it would just blow me away. I know some people talk like time travel should be a good thing so that you could go back and like do good, but I may selfishly use it just to see stuff like this at its heyday. <laughs> They've done a great job in this temple. Um, the skylights are definitely helpful. You can see some here. <laughs> Look, it's a walking paper clip. <laughs> Things like this is what keeps it fun for the kids. It's fun for us. We're not trying to be offensive, so if that's how you took it, I'm sorry. Um, but it does make it fun to, for them to pick out things that they find are unique. But it is well lit in here. They've done a great job adding the light so you can really see everything that you um, want to in great detail. Get in there. We'll go. We're, listen, tip to find the staircase going down. So we paid a little tip so we can go down. Um, into the crypt, and I cannot wait. Now these stairs are no joke. They are steep, so if you've got bad knees, things like that, we'll, we'll give you a good view in case you can't do this. But I'm gonna walk down a little sideways. Here's where, in the what to wear in Egypt 
It's hard because the dresses make for good videos, but they make it difficult here. No, you go. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll fall. I'm waiting for you to go so I can go. So, here's my knees sitting down on the bottom stair. We're gonna have to do a little crawling here. So, <laughs> Roxy, you have my bag. I'm good, honey. It is a tight squeeze, and I'm Watch so out. excited. Out. It is very slippery. Just about ate it. Oh my heart. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Shut up. Come do this. Incredible. What? Oh, this what? is incredible shape, you I guys. Touch it, but I'm not allowed to. You are not allowed to. We want everyone to be able for years to. So I wonder what these strange shaped heads are. They've been all over here with here. the little body. Mm -hmm. so Golems. Me and Kai, me and Kai are gonna go sit right there so you guys can. What did go you say right about there. a penis? All of these. Can we not? See how they're rubbed off on the other ones that are always rubbed there, mm -hmm. maybe for good luck or for vitality. Bye, bye, but bye, that one's ability. that one's the first one I've but seen these actually. Ones too are in incredible shape. So this is the crypt you said? I don't know. I paid five pounds. See, five total or per? Total. Well, because I think it's included. But right. They won't open it for But you know what? Day. I don't. I don't mind for some of this to have less people. Don't look at this. Hurry. Look, the, you so you've got. You've got the hawk head, you've got the ram's head, you've got the lion head, all depictions of different gods. Listen, if you cannot make the crawl down here, I'm sorry, I can't do this better justice, but you can see this alabaster. This is absolutely stunning. You can see where it was red. The snake is one of my favorites. Um... You've got the boats, the afterlife, you've it's got the ladder person. This crypt is so amazing. All the way down the other side, so you see the kids at the far end there. All the way out. Wow. Well, it doesn't look like there's anyone else down here, but it doesn't look like there is no one else. And there's just the two sides, but it is some of the most well preserved things we've seen in all of Egypt and honestly in all of our world travels so far. This might date the oldest and be in the best shape. This is the man here. Why am I such a rock nerd? He has the coolest rock. I, I see the swirly on it. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, I can't crawl out till you do, so let's go. Uh -huh. This room is all about Hathor and the music. She's the goddess of music. It's really beautiful. The stairs up behind that go to a whole nother room. So this, this temple is vast. It has a lot. From entering the temple, we went to the right side first and went up and under the roof. We've moved around to the left, and this side room is probably the most colorful of anyone we've seen. So hopefully the lights don't catch too much, but you can see all the white is still intact. Every piece is painted on this wall. This is absolutely incredible in here. Oh my gosh, look at the colors on this one. Lance, did you, did you come in here already? It is unfortunate that we are coming to the end of our time. It's definitely getting a little bit busier here. Go around, please. I was hoping that guy was going to take his tips. I think he would have when it was just me. He offers, but I didn't have anything. Um, there's a security guard here um, in the back, and they will help show you different things. They're very helpful. It's always kind to give them a little tip when they it's, do. It's, not, it's, it's, it's yeah, and it's it's not it's not a lot of money that they want either, right? Right. So it's any kind of offering, and so then never you tell you like have a bunch to. Of five pound notes, definitely, because it's all they want, which is equal yeah. to sixteen cents. For sixteen but it's cents hard to climb to down the, the things. Small notes. They've got to go and find them. Before. Yeah. Some of the stores won't like they want exact change on stuff. It's a little harder. Uh, this is really one of the coolest places. Don't skip it if you come to Luxor. The stewards over each area are always willing to give you a little bit of leeway about where you can go for a small amount. And honestly though, for how small of an amount it really yeah. is, I actually look back to some of the other places we visited and kind of wished I had smaller bills we with had me done a little to wrong. have given to them because they'll take in pretty cool parts that yeah. you won't get in otherwise. Even the entrance here. The first gate is just fantastic. Along the side, they've got the pieces that have fallen, that they're still working on um, getting put back together, and uh, I love that about this area. 
but uh, interestingly, so when we bought the kids' tickets for the roof, um, so we have two adults and three kids, and they said, oh, well, just three. So they just had me buy for our daughter and us. I said, don't worry about the boys. And, oh, thank you so much. But then when you get up there, they check your ticket. If you don't have it, they want yeah. the offering a set, which ends up being less expensive. So instead of paying 10 pounds per kid to go up, we just pay the guy at the gate after we have our – you have to have – at least one of you has to have a ticket. The adults, I think, definitely buy. We're not trying to skirt the system there. But if they tell you, oh, it's okay, you don't need to pay for two of them, when you get to the actual guy with the tickets, that might change. When that happens, you might have to, to pay a little bit there instead. So either way. Is the alarm set for the time we're supposed to meet? <laughs> our daughter's a little nervous about our car. She's yeah, so funny. Worry. It's Keeps us on track. Listen, you make my life easier because I don't I know, have to. I know, because I always make sure everyone it. has sunscreen and everything. So really, I'm important. Oh, <laughs> I have to look like a couple of tough nuts. <laughs> As always, it's exit through the gift shop or here, exit through the market. No big deal. Uh, the kids have made some games out of it. See way with with not being approached versus who does um realistically i really like the phone hack it's working well for me that if i ramble on to all of you while we walk through for the most part we don't get too approached it's hard because we don't buy souvenirs since we're on the road all the time i don't have anywhere to put anything because i actually love supporting places where we can um but i just don't need a little you know egyptian cat sculpture so uh, <laughs> or a plastic pyramid. No, no we did. We have things we did, right? Like we bought at the market <laughs> in Romania. I bought my dress. Like Roxy's bought, or our, bought all our daughter bought all the wearing. pants that she wore. In fact, wrap pants is like packing hack for Egypt. So we'll have to do a short and tell you kind of what we wore and and, and how it went for us while we were here. Um, because there's a lot, I feel like, of misinformation, especially as a female and being in a largely Muslim country about what you can and can't wear. And um, so that will have to be its own. Keep an eye out for that. <laughs> but we're gonna keep going here. Our little one is taken to growling at people and they like to play a game called, they're calling it looking like a tough nut. Um, <laughs> Again, if you're here for a week, the markets are fun, the vibrancy is fun, talking to the guys and, and bartering if you want to is super fun. The hard thing is, is we're here for a month and so the kids are, are kind of done with seeing the same thing nonstop. So there is a little cafe and a restroom upon exit. So if you have some extra time and you would like to grab something before you go. And a lot of times we have grabbed a bag of chips or a cup yeah. or something at those. Yeah, it was actually really nice to take a break in the Valley of the Kings, get a little drink, get out of the sun for a minute. Um, so definitely a good option. And as mom, I always like knowing where there is something because if you're having the hungry meltdowns, it's nice to know they're somewhere nearby. So Dendera Temple does have a cafe. Thanks for coming to Dendera Temple with us. We love having you join us in our travels, so make sure you subscribe for more content. We told you about how much we have loved um, our transport up with our friend Omar. We're going to have a little snack while we drive back. They're feeling real spoiled after cramming into little tiny Hyundai Elantras for a month in Romania.